Hey there, thank you for coming back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. I am very excited to bring to you guys today a review of the Matt Maggi collection from Holika Holika. This is a collection that was released back in December of 2020, but it already sold out twice and every single time these products come back in stock, I've seen that they always get sold out within just a day or two. I've only gotten my hands on these products pretty recently, but I can totally see why they are so hyped up right now on the internet. We'll be taking a look at the formulation as well as swatch all the colors in the two eyeshadow palettes as well as the two heart crush velvet jelly tints. And I'm also going to be showing you how to achieve two different looks using the products from this collection. Let's start the video by taking a look at the two eyeshadow palettes, Daisy and Mooney. The Daisy and Mooney eyeshadow palettes both use the same formulation as the My Fave eyeshadow palettes from Holika Holika, which I reviewed recently. The matte shades in both palettes are buttery smooth, and they basically blend themselves. In fact, I feel that this new matte eyeshadow formulation from Holika Holika is the same level of smoothness as the matte eyeshadow formulation from Day6, but they're a little bit more pigmented, which I prefer. Fur. Even though there are no glittery shades in either of these palettes, they do each have two shades which are matte base with pearls. And I really like the fact that the pearls in all of these shades are suspended very evenly. And even when you swatch the shades on the arms, you will be able to see that the pearls are still suspended in place instead of flying around. The Daisy palette is the sunset palette that is supposed to evoke the image of the sky as the sun goes down. All the shades are slightly warm but with a drop of pink so that they're not too too warm. And I'm going to now show you how I create this very subtle and everyday appropriate smoky look using the Daisy palette. For the base shade, I use Daydream with a large fluffy brush. Then to deepen the outer corner, I use Vintage Caramel. For the crease, I use Dream All Day. And finally, as the topper shade, I use a flat brush with the shade Daisy. The Mooney palette, on the other hand, is supposed to evoke the image and mood of the sky at sunrise. The shades in this palette are mauve and mulberry shades of different variation in terms of brightness and depth. For the chic yet romantic look I'm showing you right now, I use Truly Magical as the base shade then mulberry to deepen the crease and outer corner. To deepen the crease even further, I use inner piece. For the topper shade on my eyelid, I use Mooney. And to add some sparkle on the lower lash line, I use Moon Bow. Let's now move on to talking about the two new shades in the Heart Crush Velvet Jelly Tint Formulation. This formulation of Velvet Tint is quite close to the formulation of the Lily by Red Romantic Liar Mousse Tint, though they are slightly more wet and also slightly thinner. Other formulations that are quite similar to this Heart Crush Velvet Jelly Tint formulation includes the Hair Essential Powder Matte formulation, the Rare Kind Over Smush Tint formulation, and of course, as I already mentioned, the Lily by Red Romantic Liar Mousse Tint formulation. In terms of staining power, the Heart Crush Velvet Jelly Tint is the strongest out of all the formulations I just mentioned. But this tint formulation is definitely not transfer proof. However, even after transferring, the layers of tint that is left over will still look even and fresh. Out of the two shades, Drowsy is the warmer one. On the arm, the shade looks like a warm persimmon color, but on my lips, it looks a lot nudier than that. Together with the eye look that I created using the palette Daisy, we have this look that I'm showing you right now, which is, I think, the perfect everyday look that's going to suit a lot of people.
The second shade is Dusky. This is a muted plum shade that is leaning a little bit more red than your usual plum lip tint color. On my lips, this is essentially one tone brighter than my natural lip color. And this shade pairs well with the moony eyeshadow look that I created. Even though both of these shades look good on their own, my favorite way of wearing them is to use Drowsy as the base, then use Dusky in the center of my lips for a gradient lip look. In short, I really recommend that you check out these new products from Holika Holika. I think that with this Matte Magic collection, Holika Holika really nailed it, not just in terms of the formulation, but also in terms of the color selection and the color story of the whole collection. I have to say that I have recently rediscovered the brand Holika Holika since I used the My Fave Mood eyeshadow palettes, and I am actually thinking about making a video about the best of and worst of Holika Holika as a brand. Let me know in the comment section below if you would be interested in watching such a video and also let me know if there are other brands in K-Beauty which are not new that you want me to make a best of and worst of video for. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to my channel for more content on Korean beauty in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.